Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to apply Prim's algorithm to find minimum spanning tree. This is the solved example number 2. Link for other solved examples is given in the description below. Prim's algorithm is a famous uh, greedy search algorithm. It is used to find the minimum spanning tree given a uh, weighted, connected and undirected graph. In this example, I am going to consider this particular graph and then uh, I want to find the minimum spanning tree as well as the total weight of uh, minimum spanning tree. In this case, if you notice, uh, there are totally 7 uh, nodes are there, namely A, B, C, D, E, F and G here. Now, uh, to construct the minimum spanning tree uh, in uh, Prim's algorithm, we will start with the edge which is having the minimum weight. If you scan this particular graph uh, carefully, the edge between A and B is having weight 1, that is the minimum 1. So This is what I am talking. So what we do here is uh, we will create a node called as A as well as the node called as B and then we will draw an edge between those two. So that is the first edge of your minimum spanning tree. Next what we do is uh, we will try to identify the neighbors of A and B. The edge which is having the minimum weight that we will consider but uh, while considering that we have to make sure that uh, it will not form a cycle here. For example, uh, the neighbors of B are E, D and C. The weights are 7, 8 and 4 respectively. The neighbor of uh, A is C whose weight is 5. Out of all these things, this is the minimum so I will consider this particular thing. So from B to C we will draw an edge here and then we will write 4 here because this is the weight between B and C. Next what I will do is I will try to identify the neighbors of all these things. The neighbor of uh, B is E, D. Those are the two things remaining with weight uh, 7 and 8. Neighbor of A is uh, C and the weight is 5. And I cannot consider this because if I draw this edge no, from A to C it will form a cycle. So this is cannot be selected. The neighbor of C is F, the weight is 2 and uh, considering all the neighbors, this is the minimum uh, weight I found. So what I do is I will draw an edge from uh, C to F and then I will write the weight 2 here. Now considering the neighbors of uh, B, C, F, the neighbors of B, C are as I said earlier E and D with weight 7 and 8 respectively. The neighbor of uh, C remaining is uh, D with weight uh, 6. The neighbors of F are uh, D, E and G. This is the smallest weight that is uh, F to E with the 3 here. So I will create a node here first that is E. Between these two I will write uh, draw uh, edge and I will write the weight as 3 in this case. Again I have to find the neighbors of all these particular nodes which is having the minimum weight here. Now, among the um, neighbors, the neighbors of B are uh, E and D, the weights are 7 and 8 respectively. Neighbor of C is D, the weight is 6. The neighbor of F are D and G. Between these two, I think, uh, between all these things you can say, the minimum is C to D, which is having the weight as uh, 6. So, we will write an edge here and then the weight we will write it over here, that is 6. Now, uh, from all these particular nodes, we have to find the neighbors. Uh, if you find or if you cross check these particular things carefully, the neighbor of E, that is uh, E to G is the smallest uh, weight here. Uh, we will put it here. Because if I consider this one, B to E, uh, it will form a cycle, so I should not select it. If I select B to D, again it will form a cycle here. That is also I cannot select. And if I select uh, F to D, again it will form a cycle, I should not select. The next uh, smallest is E to G, that is the 10. So I have to select this particular thing and then uh, I have to draw this particular node as well as I have to draw this particular weight here. I have reached all this particular, uh, you can say that the nodes. So I can say that uh, this is the final, uh, what we can say that our uh, minimum spanning tree. Now uh, we will try to find the total uh, weight of this particular thing. So total uh, weight of this particular minimum spanning tree is addition of uh, all these weights. So the first one is 1 plus 4 
प्लस सिक्स प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस टेन इन दिस केस सो इफ आई एड ऑल दिस थिंग्स इट विल बिकम एलेवन हियर थर्टीन सिक्सटीन एंड देन ट्वेंटी सिक्स इन दिस केस सो ट्वेंटी सिक्स यूनिट्स इज द टोटल वेट ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री सो इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ कैन वी अप्लाई प्रिम्स अलगोरिदम टू फाइंड द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री as well as how to find the total weight of that particular minimum spanning tree if you like this particular video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching